Hey guys, Aragon Andrew with Gateway to Aragons. The grip review for this week is going to be the CO2 pistol from Daisy, the Paraline 5501. Let's go ahead and check it out. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. www.gatewaytoairguns.org. So the DAISY Powerline 5501 model is powered by 112 gram of CO2 and shoots only BBs. The total weight is one pound and the total length is 6.8 inches. It has a 15 shot clip of which you can purchase extra ones so you can be quick on the reload. It is made up of entirely metal except for the grip panels. It's a pretty nice little chrome piece. It has a single stage trigger with a manual safety equipped with a slide lock and a decocking button. And don't miss the pick rail on the underside of the smoothbore barrel for a light, laser, or a bipod. It is not scopable. It has front blade and ramp sights and a fixed rear sight. Okay, so how to operate the Daisy Powerline 5501. It's pretty similar to most CO2 BB guns. First off, you're going to insert the CO2. Well, how do you do that? You're going to remove the side panel off of the grip. Then unscrew the large screw in the bottom of the grip to allow the 12 gram cartridge room to be inserted. Before insertion though, remember to place a drop of chamber lube oil on the top of the CO2 cartridge. Now insert it into the CO2 compartment. Replace the grip panel back on it by popping it into place and screw the large screw in until the CO2 is punctured. Okay, on to ammo. This has a pretty easy to fill clip. You're gonna press the clip ejection button right behind the trigger, eject the clip, and let's load it. Choose your BBs, whichever ones you wanna use. Place the included locking piece on the top of the clip and pull the slide spring down and lock it in place. Then you're going to load the 15 BBs into the hole on the side of the clip. Release the spring and remove the locking piece. Then insert the clip into the grip of the Daisy power line. Point the gun at your desired target, disengage the safety, and pull the trigger. Okay, so on to performance, guys. How does this baby perform? So before we get started with accuracy, power, and shot count, of course, we need to go over the trigger pull and the noise level. As far as the trigger pull, I couldn't find a manufacturer's claim, so I just went with what I got. And what I got was three pounds, 11.2 ounces, and three pounds, 11.9 ounces. It's a pretty average trigger for a CO2 BB gun. And as far as the noise level at the muzzle, I got 96.4 dBs, and then 10 yards away, I got 86.4. So exactly 10 dBs quieter 10 yards away. So first order of business besides trigger pull and noise level and performance is from full to empty accuracy. Now I'm gonna shoot the daisy um, BBs for this test since it's a daisy. Now here we go. Got the chronograph set up, got my target set up, let's see. From full to empty, safety off, from full to empty, what kind of accuracy we're getting out of this, and what kind of velocity. Whoa. 334. 355. 360. 
381 386 378 412 414 421 411 433 430 427 431 419 not bad not bad all right let's reload we're at 30 shots that's 45 shots Seventy five shots, guys. And still going, guys. Still going. And that's ninety shots. Three hundred fifteen. Three hundred five. Two hundred ninety six. Oh yeah. That's it. From shot one to shot a hundred and two. Check out the big ragged hole. That's not bad at all. And 102 shots from one CO2 cartridge, that's quite a few shots. The velocity began at 334 feet per second. That was shot one. It peaked out at 433 at shot 11. And then shot 102, I got 296 feet per second. You get about 90 good full power shots out of it, but the CO2 is completely depleted at 102 shots. It may vary a few shots here and there. That's when it said, nope, I've got nothing left. Okay, so guys, let's really get to know this gun without any of the AA error in it at all. I'm gonna test it first in the Ransom Master Series rest from Ransom International. This takes human error completely out of it and shows you exactly what the gun is capable of as far as accuracy. like it might be super low. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're shooting low, so let's bring it up. There we go. All right. Now this gun doesn't seem to have enough recoil to actually bring this. I don't know why it's wanting to need to be reset. So at five yards, and I am using the Daisy BB still, at five yards, absolutely beautiful. I wish I could shoot like the Master Series rest did. Reload. That's pretty darn accurate. Let's move it back to about um, 10 yards and see how accurate it is there. All right, let's see where it's hitting. Safety, off, high, right. I do need to make a little bit of adjustments with my ransom rest to decide where I'm gonna group at. At first, it's shooting a little high and right. That looks like it'd be super low, but let's check it out. A little high. That's it. 
not as great, of course, at a further distance. So this one's not a 10 yard BB pistol, which is pretty typical. Just keep it close. We're going to test some different ammo. I have the Daisy BBs. I also have the Hornady Black Diamonds and the Umarex Steel BBs. Let's see if there's one that the power line likes better than another. We'll start out with the daisies since this is a daisy BB pistol. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of the AA error into it. We're going to use just the Ransom multi-cal rest and myself, of course, and see what kind of accuracy we get out of it there. <laughs> That's it. That was pretty sweet, guys. So at five yards with the multi-cal rest and the daisy BBs, it's getting around an inch size group, which is not bad at all. I wonder if the other two will do any better. So next I'm going to try the black diamond by Hornady and see how they shoot. Oh man that was even better. Yes, I did have a few flyaways, but for the most part, they landed mm. right there in the bowl in the same spot. So that was really sweet. Those ones shot super sweet. Let's see if the Umarex Steel BBs will shoot better than that. Uh-oh. The target's falling down. Nope, black diamond BBs it is, guys. Those are the favorites. So if you're gonna get the CO2 Daisy Powerline 5501, be sure to get some of the black diamond BBs as well. Okay, now for the full AA experience, no rest at all offhand. Let's see how I do. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do one more group, guys. I'll aim for the target at the top, but I really think I can do better than that. I shot one group and it's, it's not bad, not near as well as the Master Series rest, but not bad. But I had to shoot another one because I was just having too much fun. And I did notice that the more I shoot the gun, the more accurate I get. So a little, with a little time and practice, that's a good bit better. I'm shooting a little to the left, but that's a good bit better. I think the more I practice with this thing, the better I'll get. Maybe one day I'll be able to shoot it just as well as the Master Series from Ransom International. All right, guys, so on to cons and pros. Are there any cons? I know I can usually find one, but no, I, there's no cons. I mean, some might say it could shoot better at a little further distance, but seriously, this is just, that's average for a CO2 pistol, BB pistol. That's about the kind of accuracy you're going to get at those distances. So that's not really a con. Um, so with no cons, on to the pros. On to pros. It's a beautiful piece if you like the chrome look. It's a very comfortable shooter, fits in your hand nicely, lightweight, compact, um, has the blowback action for the realistic recoil, so it'd be great for handgun practice or just some backyard plinking. It's accurate 
at a certain distance that is, you get 90 shots, 90 full power shots, and over 100 before the CO2 is depleted. And then there is, of course, the nice little um, addition of the pick rail underneath the barrel. So that is super sweet. So guys, for less than 100 bucks, you can either get some good, fun backyard plinking in, or you can get some handgun practice in with something that's super inexpensive and pretty realistic. The weight of it, the feel of it, the recoil, the blowback action, it's, it's very similar to an actual firearm without the expense and without the noise, so you can do it in your backyard. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns. Thank you all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive, I promise. But guys, I guess that's about it for the Daisy Powerline 5501 CO2 BB pistol. Um, I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya.